What is up everybody? Welcome to the five year anniversary update. Huge no sale actually. Um, <laughs> a lot going on guys. Uh, we're moving towards the future. Um, getting to five years and doing this for a living for five years out of this room right here is really freaking incredible. It's, it's so weird to me and it's so amazing. Um, a lot of hard work obviously, but it's been the coolest thing I've done in my life. So I had some notes written down. Oh, if you hadn't noticed, it was time for a a little update, a little refreshness. Um, I have a, a nervous tick to where I kind of like always pull on my beard and I end up pulling a lot of hairs out of my neck and then I end up shaving that, then it looks like shit, then I fuck up this side, then I trim that. Y'all know how it goes. So it was a good time for a little uh, refresh. I haven't, I mean, I even did the, the mustache, which I haven't touched in God knows how many years. Um, I haven't had the beard this short in a long time. Um, little history, I did write down some notes. This is not gonna be a super short video, so bear with me. Um, last time I trimmed a little bit shorter than this was I think 2008 or 2005, fuck, I don't even remember right now. Um, it's for my sister's wedding. Now she'd actually asked me to, to trim down um, and it was the only reason I could have think of that I didn't have a reason to say no at the time. Um, yeah, there's not too many reasons I, I would. And I'm those I'm one of those dudes that's, that's always had something full. I mean, even a short beard, I've had it since I could grow it. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm not just I just didn't decide to do this a couple years ago. I, I've always had a beard, and I was always been in sales. And that's what got me into uh, getting beard products and you know trying to look half as presentable but anyways let's see what's going on so five fucking years um the rona has kind of pushed up the timeline of what i had planned um the kind of the rebrand that we did was supposedly going to take place in, Ju in january of 2021 but when some supplies were running low and I was just, I had everything, I was like, well, why not? It was kind of a good thing. And obviously ended up being a good thing just to, ah, just that, that push of doing something like that, it was, you know, takes a lot. So that's been a good thing and we're not done. That was just like phase one. I'm gonna call this phase two of what's gonna go on next. Um, all right, so the big news is I'm going to be getting rid of the Ultimate Series. Now, this is not a sales ploy. You guys know I don't really do that no more. <laughs> the Ultimate Series is just hugely complicated to make and kind of produce. So this is going to be a business kind of decision. This is not to say it will not be back. I really think they would be back um, at some point or another or as a limited or something. The reason being is the Ultimate Series was a thought that I was going to do before I even thought of doing a relaunch. So that was, it just doesn't jive in together right now uh, as far as the look is concerned and as far as the production is concerned, as far as every Limited is an Ultimate to me. Um, that's how I view every monthly that we've ever done for the past three years or whatever. So, and at the time, monthly subscriptions were only subscription based, not available as a one time. So right now, my main lineup is confusing to some people where the ultimate's there, and then the main lineup's there, and then the limited's there. So that means, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the ultimate. That means no more Bronco Buster, which is what the best scent maybe I've done to date. Um, probably top seller this year and then the bumpside beecher which would be the second top seller besides the limited of course uh this year amazing uh summer scent uh the super scout gone and i'm also gonna get rid of the chieftain um so basically it's me gonna be rounding out what the main lineup is gonna be so I won't leave you hanging though. They will be back, probably. Uh, I'm not trying to get you to buy it just because it's going away. I want you to pay attention to what's coming, what the main lineup is, and uh, yeah. Um, also another reason for doing this is I will be adding four cents to the main lineup 
as of uh, September. I'm not sure it'll be September 1st, but it'll be in the first week of September. And I want to be adding samples for the main lineup. Something a lot of people that are, well, it's always been that way, but a lot of people ask for it. <laughs> so the only way to do all this, to add samples, to add um, main sense, is to get rid of the ultimate and the chieftain. I could lie and say it's uh, supply Rona related, but uh, there's ways around that right now. And uh, it's not, it's basically hitting the five years and what I want it to be the next five or the next, what I envision it being next year. Anyways, all right, samples. Um, uh, the app is kind of finally functional all around as far as limited and uh, subscription and uh, uh, apparel and stuff. I will be adding stuff to that and I just did. So don't forget to download the app. Just search Black Rebel Beard on Google Play or Apple Pay, Play, whatever it is. Um, I mean, back to the history of five years, uh, what, I don't remember what the first time we did Emu and obviously I was the first one. If you're going to do it, it's 75% Emu for certain. And just cause other people now claim to use it just cause they put a, do a, a drop in their oil mix just to say they have Emu is not the same thing. You guys know that, but just have to say it. Um, when the Ultimate came out, the first thing to be all Emu, it was a lot more expensive than it is now, guys. I know I'm viewed as a, a, one of the more expensive brands, but I actually lowered the price of all the Emu stuff and I kept free shipping. Um, so part of the thing that I keep saying, no more sales, no more sales, no more sales. Free shipping cost me, that That would be, I, I didn't raise the price and then add free shipping and I actually lowered the price and kept free shipping is what I'm trying to say. That's 20, 25% minimum discount that you're getting on every order, whether it's 25 bucks or hundred bucks, you're getting that discount uh, regardless. So don't take that lightly guys. It's uh, I, I pay a lot for that every month and just pretend and know you're getting 20, 25% off for free shipping every time. And I've kept that. I just thought it would be more simple to the point. I don't do a lot of frills and, and stuff like that, you know me. But uh, yeah, it goes, I don't do BOGOs, I don't do sales. I mean, I've done it all, I've done it all. So now it's like, it's just focus on the product and you guys will see that. Um, the way to get more people to see that is because we'll have samples coming soon. Um, what's coming back? Uh, so this was hard. <laughs> I have so much things I wanna do, but I can't do it all either. So the scents that are coming back or are going to be added to the main lineup are the Iron Duke, which was the second most popular besides the Go Devil, which is staying. I'm going to bring back the Escape, um, only because I need a good summer scent, and uh, the main lineup has to be well-rounded, you know what I mean? So the Escape is coming back. Um, I have one called the Hooligan and the Hellcat. Now, I haven't sort of, I haven't finalized those yet exactly what they're going to be, but again, they'll be... The main lineup is supposed to be a, a, a wide range of, I don't want to say simple, but more daily multi-use, uh, something you could come back and, and get again and again, and you could use that as your daily. That's what the main lineup is supposed to be. Um, then I go crazy on the limited subscription. So that's it. I'm trying to combine the both, the, the two worlds. Um, what else? Uh, shit, I think that's about it. Um, sorry to disappoint you guys. There's no sale coming for a five year anniversary. It's not to say I don't want to do one for Black Friday, uh, which has always been our big, our big one. Um, I didn't even do one for Father's Day, but again, there's always a sale going on because of the free shipping, um, international update. I still haven't heard and I'll keep checking on some, some words and people that uh, are getting that stuff. I have not seen a complete 180 on shipping being uh, back to normal time for international. And yes, guys, I used to have international shipping and be uh, $14.99 um, for shipping for that. That that will not be free shipping. Uh, some of those, even one thing cost me 20, 30 bucks to ship out. So bear that in mind also, but hopefully soon. I do see a lot of suppliers that I use are, are, are back into a more normal time frame of shipping. Uh, all the apparel 
is almost back to to full to normal time of shipping rates and uh so are my suppliers so we're seeing that we're seeing them catching up or or expanding or whatever they had to do to do that so internationals next um that's about it test it guys test it oh well shit since i have you here next month sent <laughs> i almost forgot i didn't i didn't write it down is called the super yenko now those of you guys that know uh yenko camaro is uh was a special limited um you know uh that a company was uh ordering from the factory with huge engines and all these other options super rare super collectible and i just didn't want to na name it the camaro or anything like that so the super yenko ended up being i have a sandalwood that i've never used before i have uh the comanche that's in it and uh, a, a dash of <laughs> sweetness that's basically Black Rebel in a nutshell. Some reviewer mentioned that uh, recently. It's, yeah, combining a manliness but fresh, cologne but natural all into one. That's kind of been my go-to on, on, if I had to say, more than 50% of the scents. Uh, that's kind of my thing. Um, uh, yeah, and, and basically word of mouth, guys. I don't spend nearly as much money as I should on marketing and that'll kind of be my focus next year um, I do not know where I will end up in five years I'm debating between I could go full force and try to expand exponentially or just being the cool brand right now that it is and and reaching the the beard guys that know the the you guys are the ones in the community that are tried a bunch of stuff and you know have black rebel in your top two or three or five that's always been my goal i'm selling to you guys um the first thing i came out with was called uh, mr beard i don't know if you some of you remember and that's when i was still working i was like oh crap i actually sold like the first time i sold a thousand dollars worth of stuff in a month i was like holy crap uh, there's something to this like at that time in 2015 everything kind of sucked so it wasn't that hard to stand out. Um, but I've always kind of been in sales and marketing. So I was like, well, let's go for it. And Mr. Beard was geared towards being an Amazon brand, uh, having a couple cents, but mass producing in large batches and this and that. And then at the same time, I always had uh, Black Rebel in mind. This is my, my chick got me this like the first year we went live. So that's the Mr. Beard logo. That's my face. <laughs> I didn't have a better idea. Um, and I tried to pixelate it. I just wanted to do it with a beard and kind of classic, but I probably shouldn't have used my face. So the next logical thing is a skull. And that was the original uh, Black Rebel logo. So I have this and we redid the room, but I mean, I should hang it up. Something about it is you know i'm weird i'm always looking towards the future uh and and not the past but you can't get to the future without the experience of the past so never forget that so i'll keep that i need to put it up somebody remind me and yeah so we went from that to color um and yeah black rebel was supposed to be for the beard guys i was it was just me being scared of well there's so many companies, uh, why would I do something so so many people are doing? Um, and glad I did, but yeah, it was scary. And Black Rebel was like, well, let me do one for the, the beard guys that I kind of see and know uh, that, are, that are active on, on online and all that. And that's just make it the coolest uh, company I can, the, the stuff that I'm into. Um, for most of you guys know that the band Black Rebel Motorcycle Club is the uh, you know, inspiration of the name and, and uh, kind of the look and feel of everything. Because to me, that was still one of my favorite bands and that is just cool. <laughs> um, and it worked out right away. Thank fucking God. And I tell people it could have, it could have just been the timing. It could have been this, it could have been that. A lot of things had to happen for it to be a success. Um, but it did. And I was like, well, fuck Mr. Beard. And I never looked back. I was like, well, let me make the best stuff I can for the guys that know. Um, and I still continue to do that. 
I have still messed with the uh, viscosity on this oil. The butter has been upgraded tremendously. Guys, that cost me, just to have that buttery smoothness, I spent a grand on this fridge right here. Um, I spent a grand on that new wax compared to the old wax. I spent, I'll spend it. I put everything back into this as much as I can. Um, I have, my buddy came over the other day throwing away boxes and stuff. I threw away a thousand of dollars worth of uh, containers and stuff that I don't use anymore. Um, and it's just, it was hard to let go, but again, let's move forward. Spare with me, guys. Um, I'm focused because of my kid. I'm focused now because, not that I was coasting, but I'm, I'm way more focused now today. I'm sure you guys see that. Um, Yanko pre-orders always drop on the 17th of the month. And we'll start shipping. Depending on how many pre-orders we get, we'll start shipping around the first part of the month of September. And... Oh, guys, so when I was trying to make this, I have the coolest, perfect October fall scent coming for the limited that's going to blow everybody away. No, there's no fucking pumpkin in it. I will stand by this <laughs> till the day we, we are not, that I'm not in charge. Um, we've never done pumpkin and we never will. Nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying, took a stand to be different and we'll continue to make that stand. I'll continue to strive to be different. Um, everybody's doing something. I just run the other way. You guys know that. But yeah, that was a good ramble. This was the first take, I swear to God. And I didn't cut. I didn't do nothing. And you can look back at videos. I'm the same mother. I'm the same dude. And I'll continue to be that. Um, but better products as much as I can. So yeah, five years. No discount. Free shipping though and uh getting rid of scents adding some more next month plus samples soon so yeah that's just that's it right now uh i'll try to do these videos once a month again but thank you guys so much and whew, i'm ready man i'm ready let's do it thank you thank you thank you blackrebelbeard.com <laughs>